Okay, we look at part two of this question. Each day, Mr. Thomas uses $163 to make the bottles of juice and the cakes. The cost to make a bottle of juice is $3.50, while the cost to make a cake is $5.25. Write an inequality to represent this information. All right. Now, here, the cost to make a bottle of juice is three dollars fifty. The juice is represented by x. So each bottle of juice is three dollars fifty. Two bottles of juice would be seven dollars, and so on. So the amount of money to make each bottle of juice is 3.5, 3 3.5 and one bottle of juice is multiplied by one, two bottles of juice is multiplied by two, for three bottles of juice is multiplied by three and so on. So, for whatever number of bottles of juice, ah, he makes x bottles of juice, so this must be multiplied by x, so it's 3.5 times x. Alright, plus now, he spends more money to make the cake, $5.25 each, in fact, so it's 5.25. For one cake, you multiply this by one. For two cakes, it's double that amount of money, it's two. For three cakes, triple this amount of money is three, and so on. Now, how much cake does he make? He makes Y cakes each day. So, it's going to be 5.25 multiplied by y so he makes three dollars fifty per juice multiplied by x juice plus he spends five dollars twenty five per cake multiplied by y to make y cakes and that adds up to a total of one hundred and sixty three but now let's see what he said. They say each day Mr. Thomas uses that to make juice and cakes. The cost to make each juice is that, and the cost to make white cakes is that. Write an inequality to represent this information. Now, the way the question is put, it would be an equality. Because he said he uses this amount of money to make the juice and cake. If they had said he has $163 available to make juices and cakes, then I would assume that he could use up all of that 163 or he could make less amount of juice and cake on a slower day so what i would have in that case is an inequality less than or equal to all right so that now would be our inequality